and he'll fuse on that guy. Oh, I didn't enjoy the first 30 minutes or so, especially the first 10, 15, and then we sort of got a little foothold, they had some chances, but listen, they've got one of the best strike forwards in the league, you know, Hamilton, Maynard, and Rose, the, the, the quality players, we, we knew they were going to cause the problem, and they certainly did, but you know, that's why we've got one of the best keepers in the league also, because he's kept them at bay, um, so fair play. But then, look, I said to the boys at half time, the minute you get the ball down and keep playing the way we're playing, yeah, they tried to stop us to, to, to a certain degree, but you've seen when we when we play the patterns of play we play, and you get out, you know, we're a good team. Uh, and we certainly showed that, especially the second half. So, they'll probably feel hard done by that they haven't gone in two, maybe three goals up. But look, I've been on the same, I've been on the same, same situation as that also. Uh, maybe we couldn't hit a band or let alone a goal. So, They'll be obviously frustrated, but for us, I thought the lads' character and the attitude was, was, was different class. You know, sort of your style and the way you play football, I think you had twice as many passes as they did during the game. And you, you kept on doing that. You, you mentioned the first half hour wasn't probably going your way. Yeah. But is that part, you know, if you keep yeah. doing it, keep doing it, it'll come? Well, if you keep doing it, now sometimes you have to say to the boys, you know, we, we played with too many long balls in the first half, and you know, when you've got Biden and Jeps, yeah. Byron can get him behind if the one's in behind and if the grass, but Jeps is he's a small lad, he doesn't want to be fighting with three big centre halves for, for aerial balls, aerial duels. So, you know, I said to the boys, look, you've got to keep playing. And, and look, but sometimes you you know, you get a bit, <coughs> you know, they've come here, they've, they've pushed three up against the R3 and you can't really get going. And then you get a little bit, oh God, she'll just put him behind. No, just keep playing. We've got the quality of the players which shone through in the end. And I've said to them, it's a bit of belief that if, if they believe that they can do that at every opportunity. You, you will you will succeed. Uh, I think that's really good. You mentioned that and, and, and the defence, and when, when, when they're showing that resilience, that as a platform from which you can go forward, the front lads see the back lads doing that, and they think, well, yeah, yeah, the back lads are great. <laughs> you know, obviously, they've got in a couple of times and whatnot, but for, for us, we've just got to make sure we, we stick to the plan. Eh? But did we stick to the plan the first 10, 15, 20 minutes? I think they tried to, but you have to give them a little bit of credit. They got in a couple of times, and that's probably one of the only teams that I've got in. Uh, and sort of tried to stop us playing, but again, I think when you played Graham Cochran's team five times, <laughs> I think he obviously understands a little bit of how he thinks he could he could nullify us. But again, look, the character of our lads to, to, to keep doing what I asked them to do and persevere, and then obviously hence you get your goals. Now, he's a primary defender. He showed that very well on the, 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 early in the second half when he had the block from Nicky Maynard. But his goals, two goals this season, have been valuable for you. Yeah, have, yeah, yeah. Look, and he's a great block on the line as well, yeah. man. He's he's been this the We know that. But I've been getting on his case to score more goals because the size of him, you know, he should be. And we we work on stuff in training where you know we can get Naz free, and you know he's certainly done that of late. And, you know, long may that continue. But again, look, he's been solid as a rock. He, he makes his tick. He gets on the ball. He makes his play. Uh, even in the first 15, 20 minutes, we couldn't quite get it, and he was going a little bit long and was probably getting us not many options. But then it's just a little bit of rotation. What we changed at half time in tactical stuff that gets him to get passes on the ball. So if he's on the ball, you know, people rotation moving, hence then he can pass that pass. The first 15, 20 minutes he didn't have one. But fair play, as I said, character to the boys, they, they were a different class along with along with Naz. George is very the assist king of Hyde Park and then he, he spent the balls on, on, on Naz's head and thinks over the top for Byron and plays like that. I mean when 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 you're getting that sort of supply, you always yeah, have a chance. Listen, he, he knows George obviously look he's playing in a in a false position as well. He's not he's not a wing back, but he's doing ever so well for us and mm. listen we appreciate that hence he was a little bit tied towards the end and you know George ain't one that's gonna put his head on the line ever again, I think, because last time he played in Mansfield he ended up with a broken <laughs> yeah. jaw or a cheekbone was it a oh, so, face, you know, his face, yeah. Yeah, and I'm saying to him going with some headers, it's not that he's the prettiest boy around, is he? His hair looks good and everything else and his beard, but his face is <laughs> not quite so you know, but again, he, he, he's been terrific for us and he's got that quality. He's got that quality where he can put the ball on the money and he's certainly doing that. Ryan Hardy was talking about coming to join us for the rest of the season. He said that the persuading factor was you said we, we, we create 20 25 chances every game. He said, Well, I'm, I'm coming then because yeah. I'll finish him off. <laughs> yeah. and, and two goals in two games, was, uh, was coming on for the bench. I mean, that's fantastic. Too. Yeah, it is. Yeah, look, and you know, he's, he's probably going to. Got to just monitor him and make sure he's right and he's getting up to speed. But look, that's what he gives you. He's, we knew once he was through, he gallops done. He's fast in a different way. He's not a by the more fast, but he's a, he's a galloper. And then once we knew he was in there and he come onto his left foot, he's got that calm and composure, uh, which obviously we wanted in front of the goal. And he certainly gave us that. So fair play. But listen, 
you know, we knew when we signed him what he was going to give us, and at the moment he's given us two goals and two games. The team's got three goals in each of its last three games, three points from each of those last three games, you're up to fourth on the table. There's a momentum, is still there, isn't there? Yeah, listen, well, as I said, that, what's that 20th game now? Uh, 20, 20 left now? 20 left, yeah. So 20, 20 left, yeah. Look, again, we'll just keep ticking them off. You know, we've got a, another tough games coming up now in, in Stevenage and Crawley and then I don't think who the next Newport, one is. Yeah. Newport at home. So they're, all, they're different type of games. They'll pose a different type of threat to us. Uh, but look, we've just got to be ready. We've got to be on our metal. We've got to make sure we do the work, which we will. And the lads keep taking on instruction, which they will. And then, listen, you know, we get knocked easy with 10 out the way and then we see 10, 10 left. I think you'll see a little bit of light at the end of the tunnel and then actually make up our mind and make up everyone's mind where we possibly could finish. Well done. Thank you.